Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in my Minecraft survival world. Today we're going to be doing something really really awesome but before I get onto that I'm just going to go and tell you about what I've been doing in between episodes. As you can see this railway now extends all the way out into the distance and it's completely finished. All of the decoration is done and everything is really nice and connected and neat and tidy. As you can see we've also got a lovely little platform down here which I can use um, with this little bridge to connect me up um, to this big mob farm that we have here and wow that is a, that is a really awesome view wow the sky has just gone seriously dark but if I do this then we're out of it it's back to normal that is amazing I've never ever done that before it's just so distracting but it's really cool I think I like that it makes me look kind of kind of evil um, but yeah in today's episode um, you're probably wondering what we're going to be doing and it's really awesome um, again, it's a really cool project, I think, to work on. I'm going to be building the same um, automatic wheat, carrot and potato farm, which I actually just did a Minecraft tutorial video on. So if you like the sound of that, I think I'll leave a link to all of that in the description. Um, but yeah, we're going to be building this thing um, in this survival world, and it's actually much needed. Um, so if I actually just go over um, to my base area, I'll explain all of the reasons behind all of this. So I'm over here back at base and I'm at the area that I'm actually going to be building this thing um, in and I've definitely decided to do this um, right here because I decided a long time ago um, or a while ago because this is just perfect. I mean it, it kind of goes down and it dips down um, in terms of the land and I've got lots and lots of space to build the whole farm here and I'm actually planning to build this thing very big so something you know like stretching across all of this area right here um, would be you know taken over by the whole farm and I think that will look really cool but um, first up I should probably explain why I'm building this seeing as I have a giant unharvested wheat farm right there just sitting waiting to be harvested waiting um, for me to get all of the wheat and uh, there's a very very uh, special serious reason for that and that's because this thing is really hard to harvest it takes a lot of time um, an effort to just go and actually harvest all of this. First up we have these carpets in the middle and they are pretty much the source of all of the problems. Um, so I can't use water to harvest this because it will take out the carpets. Um, I could put slabs there but then it's kind of weird to walk over them. So yeah I'm really fussy and uh, I don't think that works out very well. Um, but also just generally going around and sort of harvesting it just takes really long. You can also accidentally break the carpets um, a lot of the time and then you have to place down a bit of seeds or a seed <laughs> and then um, put the carpets back down and things like that it's just kind of annoying and uh, it takes a lot of time it's not very efficient um, but it also does look pretty good aesthetically so there's no way that I'm gonna like take this whole thing out um, I'm definitely gonna leave it here and it looks cool but it it's not really efficient it's not effective and I need a lot more wheat because of the sheep farm that we've got over there and also all of the animal breeders um, back there which are the old ones um, there are a lot of animals there and I need to breed all of those guys and for that I obviously need a lot of wheat so that is basically the reason why I'm planning to build this farm this um, redstone farm um, obviously auto harvests all of the crops and although we're still gonna need to place them I think it makes sense to, to have a farm that's auto harvesting I think that's a much easier way of going about doing things and I think I have all of the resources I pretty much need um, to build this thing um, but yeah like I say it's gonna be very very big it's probably gonna stretch across this whole area um, as long as I can kind of fit it in and figure out how all of the redstone is gonna connect up and obviously we're gonna have the storage system with it and things um, down here maybe I'll make the storage system underground or something I'm not too sure how it's gonna work um, just yet because obviously none of this land is is flat or perfectly suited for this although I did say that, like the, the dips in the land are really useful so it's gonna mean I'm gonna have to dig out less dirt and stuff and uh, maybe I could just make the tears straight um, out of the land and if you don't know what I'm talking about it's probably quite useful for you um, it would probably be quite useful if you went and watched that video but anyway I'm gonna start building this thing um, pretty soon but first up I'm gonna have to get some resources together and I think I know what I'm going to build it out of. I think I'm going to build it out of iron blocks um, just because I said like in the mob farm they just look so awesome. I think iron blocks are like the best way, um, the best material to use for this kind of stuff 
and hopefully it should go um, quite well with all of the stone and the wood that I've got over here. Okay, so I've gone around and done a little bit of planning. It may not look like much has actually happened, but it's been quite a while and I've been thinking um, about exactly how I want to do this and I've come up with a little bit of a plan. And the plan is, it's a bit ridiculous. I mean, it means that this this um, build is just going to be ridiculously big. Um, but I want to do a ridiculously big build, so I'm completely fine with that. And I have a feeling that it's going to take a, a long while um, to actually get this episode out. Um, so, I mean, I'd be lucky to actually do the farm in this episode, let alone the storage system. I think that's going to be for another day. Um, and yeah, you can tell this thing is actually now going to be pretty super sized. So the way I'm going to do it is you see these two um, sort of um, lines in the middle here. That is the same path which leads to my front door over there um, of my little house. And I think I'm going to have the farm coming in this way and in um, from that direction as well. So I'm kind of going to build the farm um, with these two blocks as a center. And I'm going to make it really, really big. So I'm going to make it extended till that side and extended to that side, uh, you know, a lot basically. And uh, so it's going to have loads and loads of different tiers. And it's going to go much, much higher than the one in the tutorial video, which I did. And yeah, I mean, this might be a bit crazy. I don't know if it's a good idea, I don't know if it's going to work or not, I don't know if the redstone signals will go that far and stuff, I'll probably have to add in loads of repeaters to get um, everything wired up in the end, but I'm just going to go for it and I think it's just going to be really fun to work on this kind of a project. By the way, if you're listening to some weird stuff, if you're hearing some weird stuff um, in the background, there's always some weird stuff in my videos, but um, yeah, right now we're actually having some kind of rainstorm outside and it's it's really, really, really stormy. And the rain is kind of thrashing against my window. Um, so, yeah, you're probably hearing that. And, yeah, it's just a, a weird storm going on. Now I'm just in Minecraft. And uh, luckily it's not raining here too. So I think I'm going to get on with this. I'm actually going to, like, place some iron blocks in. Um, and obviously I'm going to flatten out some of the area. You see I have my efficiency spade here but or shovel. But it's going to break pretty soon. So I'm going to have to repair that too. And uh, then I will be back. A little update here this should give you um, a good idea of how big this thing is actually going to be so you see we've got the middle line there which is the collection um, stream the water streams and then we have the the first layer and the second layer right there um, obviously on both sides so that should just give you an idea of how big it's getting we've only done two layers so far and it's still already pretty insane well, I'm looking at this thing now, and uh, it's it's obviously done in terms of how many tiers there are going to be, because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six tiers, and I remember saying something like, this is going to be ridiculously big, and, um, well, it does look pretty big, but I think I'm, I'm just going to go back on that right now, because I, I don't think it's big enough. I don't think it's big enough, and maybe I'm just crazy, which is also very, very likely, but... I think I'm going to extend it out even more that way. I mean, why not? Why not just make a huge um, farm and use up all your resources? No, it's fine. I think I'm going to do that. And yeah, you see we have all of this area here. I want to use it up. And I think it would be cool just to extend it that way and see if this thing is infinitely expandable like I was claiming. Um, because I didn't do any proper tests, um, but it just theoretically should be. Um, but also, I've obviously put in all of the water and I've got all of the layers done. I've also got the baskets up here. But what that means is, yeah, we have a little bit of a maze of dirt and um, darkness, essentially, down here um, on either side. And that means loads of mobs are going to be spawning all over here. It's basically a big mob spawner. And I'm going to have to get rid of all of this dirt hanging down. Or I could leave it um, if I can't be bothered to get rid of it. Um, but I'm at least going to have to torch up the area. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to extend out um, this farm. And uh, then I'll be ready to actually put some iron blocks in. And hopefully get some decoration done. Okay guys. I I don't know how. But are you guys seeing this? This is ridiculous. There are two of the exact same horse. And I swear I haven't gone and, and got another horse. Which is the exact same. But somehow... My horse has duplicated itself within Minecraft, and that's just ridiculous. I mean, I've never ever seen that happen before in this game, and I don't think anybody else really has. Like, be sure to tell me whether you've ever seen this before, and I've not tried riding on it yet, but... Oh my god. 
I can't I can't even believe that. This I just came into this house and then I saw the horse, but I was on my horse. And then Okay, well, it's quite late at night and I'm quite tired. Maybe I'm hallucinating, but <laughs> you know, t please tell me if you've ever experienced this um before because this this is just ridiculous. I now have two horses. Um I don't know how long it will last though. Um probably not after I save and quit the title. Um, but you never know, maybe I have two free horses. So finally, I've completely finished all of the dirt layers and everything is completely done. I've even put in all of the water. As you can see, I've kind of just got to fill up those um, blocks though and cover them because obviously the water is not meant to be exposed. Otherwise, the water from the top um, won't be able to flow down. But yeah, I've extended it all the way in that direction over there. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Maybe I am being a bit insane, but I also added on this tier right here, so I've got another tier. So it's not six anymore, so if you count it, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiers um, on either side, and I also extended it in that direction. So this thing is, is a beast. This thing is absolutely insane now. And um, yeah, by the way, about the horses, yeah, they're both still there. I've got two two horses, one for free and one which I already obviously had. And that's a bit crazy, but also this farm has gone really well so far. And uh, now we're finally ready to actually add in some of the iron blocks and some of the decoration around here. Um, so I just realized that I kind of love doing big projects. I kind of love extending um, stuff as much as possible and kind of um, try and testing to Minecraft to the limit and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, this isn't that big to you know to really test minecraft it will probably lag me quite a lot um once i put in all of the wheat and stuff and start using it but it should be okay but overall i really love doing um aesthetic and redstone projects like this which are um really big so i obviously try and switch from um, aesthetic and redstone projects as well from every episode or between um every few episodes and uh, yeah, apart from all of that now, I'm ready to put in the iron blocks. So I think I'm going to add in some of the decoration around the sides, or at least the stuff, uh, the blocks in there to, to stop the water flowing out. And then I will be back with another progress update. So finally, I'm back at recording Minecraft after a long time of not being able to record just because of crazy stuff and homework and tests, which I've been doing very badly in. Um, have just been going on and that's why I haven't been able to record. It's probably going to take me ages to actually get this video out, but since um, last time uh, you saw me I was just adding in these iron blocks and adding in a wall and that's what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I did go um, even more crazy <laughs> than I was before because I had some water flowing there so clearly I haven't blocked up one of these things. But yeah, I, I actually extended it one block um, one module further in this direction as you can see so I just completely lost it I made this thing into even more of a giant thing than it was and yeah now I've oh my god yeah anyway now I've extended this thing um, as much as I pretty much would ever need like more than more than I ever needed to so this is this is absolutely giant now and much much bigger than it even was before but now I'm gonna go and do is just add in all of these iron blocks um, in a wall around this place so that obviously all of the water just flows nicely down to the bottom and um, then I think we'll almost be done for the episode and obviously that's not the whole farm done but I think we're gonna do it over two episodes um, and so in the next one I can add in some of the redstone and things like that very nearly done now for this episode and I've also made a lot of progress so I've added in these um, iron walls and I've also got in the slabs on top because I'm actually using the same design pretty much the aesthetic theme as well um, which I had in my tutorial video because I think that that one just kind of looks okay I think it, it goes um, and I mean using iron blocks is something that I haven't done in this area um, but the fact that it's so far away from all of the rest of the stuff really makes it kind of alright to use it Hopefully it shouldn't um, affect um, everything too much, but I've also, as you can see here, started to add in some of these, um, some of the lighting bits and pieces, but we've obviously only got dirt blocks there so far, so I'm going with the same thing again with the um, dark oak wood um, fences all the way along here, and I've got a few of those left, um, three stacks and a bit, but to be honest, I think I'm going to need a little bit more 
um, of this stuff. So I'm going to have to go get some more dark oak wood a little bit later as well. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do all of this on camera. I think I'm just going to add in these off camera because it is a pretty simple, um, pretty simple job. I just figured out whereabouts um, I actually want the, the lighting to be. As you can see with those dirt blocks right there, I kind of spaced it out as evenly as I could. Um, it's not exactly even, but it sort of goes like this. So we have three here and then another um, redstone lamp and then two more and then another redstone lamp and then three more and pretty much just repeating the same process all over again and uh, yeah I'm actually going to be using um, redstone lamps and not glowstone or anything but that does mean that I'm going to have to go to the nether because redstone lamps actually require glowstone they are basically glowstone with four redstone um, dust around them in the in the crafting table so I'm gonna have to go into the nether and I think that's gonna be a bit of a hard one usually the nether is um, a pretty evil place anyway but it's gonna be a little bit more evil this time because obviously I have a, um, a whole horde of zombie pigmen in there and I'm not sure about how this thing works so it might have actually worn off because I haven't been into the nether for a very very long time and so I might just be completely safe but I've got to potions of healing right here um, just in case and I have a feeling I'm gonna die I have 28 XP that would be bad and we also have all of these poppies here still which is just kind of annoying but by the looks of things um, I think they are angry but I, I just can't see any of them you know what I think I'm gonna pick up a few of these poppies um, when I say a few I mean like a thousand different stacks but wow that is quite amazing so I'm just going to go around in the nether now and um, try and gather together some... Yep, they are angry. I'm going to try and gather together some glowstone. But I think I'm going to have to wait it out and um, stay away from these guys for the time being. And then um, I'll be back and hopefully we'll be able to make some more progress. I'm back from the evil nether. I made it out of there and that was bad. It got really bad really quickly and they were like zombie pigmen just piling in all around that little fortification bit that I have which is my nether hub which is pretty terrible to be honest I'm gonna have to make a new one of those sometime soon I mean I keep saying that and I have been saying that for a while but I'll make it eventually so um, you see I've made a lot of progress here again I've got all of these um, fences in and I've also got rid of all the dirt blocks which were in between them and that's because we can now go in and place some of these redstone lamps and I got the glowstone from the nether, but to be honest, I don't think I have enough. So I only have three, well, two stacks and seven of these. So that's nowhere near going to be enough for such a huge project. And I've also only got 46 daylight sensors. So I'm going to have to go into the nether quite a lot and get these things. This is like quite a lot, to be honest, more than I was expecting I'm, I was going to need. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to go do that. But I think the last little bit of progress, um, which I'm going to be making today, is going in and placing in all of these things, um, or at least as many as I can, um, as many as I have, that is. And then I will be back. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite surprised as to how many spaces have been filled up by these redstone lamps, which we had. We only had two stacks and a little bit, as far as I can remember, but they actually filled up the entire um, left-hand half over there. Um, and we still have to fill up this entire half though, so I'm going to have to go into the nether um, off camera between episodes. I'm going to have to get myself lots and lots of glowstone, um, and I'm going to have to get some more um, daylight sensors as well, because as you can see I've run out of those. Uh, so I've got a lot of progress to make, but I think for one episode I've made a pretty humongous, pretty huge um, template for our farm here, and I think it's gone really, really well. Um, hopefully I haven't gone too far over my 20 minute limits but talking about timings and things yeah it's taken a long time for me to upload this episode and I'm very very sorry about that um, I just have had a lot of work and I know it kind of makes me out as being a very lazy um, person but really I do enjoy making these videos so um, I'm going to try and work towards sort of uploading more frequently all the time and I've definitely got a little bit of a plan um, to help me do that um, but I'm going to have to leave you with that for today. That was weird. I'm going to have to leave you with that for today um, because I think we have run out of time. So if you like the episode, be sure to go and leave a like down there. It will be a big help to my channel. And uh, also, if you want to subscribe, feel free to do that. Um, but I've also been receiving very um, 
awesome comments recently which have inspired me to make more videos so if you want to go and uh, tell me what you liked about the episode or maybe what I should improve which would also be quite useful uh, feel free to go and do that in, in the comments section uh, but I think that's all for today so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one